Hello, welcome Aquarius, Pisces, Cusp, Cross Watchers. If you are born February 15th through February 21st, you are considered an Aquarius, Pisces, Cusp, or you could be dealing with one. Welcome to my channel. I am T. Erica. I am all about love here on my channel, you all. I am so happy that you all decided to stop by. Hopefully you find some messages here that will be helpful, okay? Um, please know... Aquarius, Pisces, Cusp, or Cross Watchers, that these will be general messages. They will not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. Please feel free to take what resonates with you. And the messages that does not resonate, please do leave them here on the table um, for someone that it will resonate with, okay? All right. So let's get started. Jump right on into it. Let's look into... Uh, your love connection here, Aquarius, Pisces, Cusp, and your love interest. Okay, here. So, first one out, we have a man and a woman. The look on this man's face, he looks a bit uh, disgusted. Maybe <laughs> a little aggravated. And the woman here in this picture, she is surprised. Okay. So, I'm not sure if they have witness the same thing that has caused this uh, expression on both of their faces or if maybe they had a conversation and I don't know whatever came out there <laughs> this gave him this look and it gave her this look like what what did I say okay so I don't know let's see let's keep going Aquarius Pisces cuz all right um you have a bird in a cage that looks like it wants to come out and sing here okay so maybe someone in this connection could be caught in a situation um where they are wanting to express themselves okay um why does the cage bird sing so listen to the cage bird sing maybe here um Maybe this is signifying that you're needing to express yourself a bit more, okay? Let's see. Maybe your person is caught in a situation, I don't know, uh, to where they are wanting to express themselves. Let's get one more here. All right. So, two more came out. Okay. Aquarius, Pisces, Cusp. You have here this young lady on a swing. Um, I'm feeling like she is ready to actually go with the flow maybe um this is like a free spirited here someone who is just ready and open um for the unknown okay and here last but not least we have um, a picture of someone that is in a bed, uh, IVs in their arm, and they're holding a hand. So maybe someone in this connection could be uh, maybe physically sick here or just down, okay? Maybe you're needing to... Okay, some of you all could be a healer, I am getting, okay? Or maybe someone is um, needing some healing here at this time okay okay so let's look into the overall energy of this connection Aquarius Pisces cusp. look into the overall energy here of this connection between you and your love interest you have truth here in number two which is 20 20 number two okay so someone is wanting a balance here is wanting a partnership here okay with truth you're wanting to you're wanting the truth here um okay i'm getting libra energy here off of um that okay so maybe for some it could be dealing with a libra so let's get one more here on the overall energy of this connection Okay, and you have recognition and reward, which is the number three. Three is about creativity and growth here. A moving, taking the action, okay? Gaining some recognition here. Um, being recognized for some good here, okay? So on both of these illustrations here, I see the sun is piercing through here okay so you could be now realizing here the truth to you or your person 
and someone is ready to right now in this energy of recognizing who you are all right and no okay so let's keep going let's look into your love interests aquarius pisces cusp all right so it came out here is a cancer so for some you all could be dealing with a cancer and let's get one more here and we have pisces okay and so for others you could be dealing with uh pisces all right um okay or they could have this in their chart with both of these being water signs here okay or water energy um you could be dealing with someone who is very emotional all right um okay now let's get some characteristics here give us some characteristics this aquarius pisces cusp love interest you got virgo here so for some you could be dealing with a virgo all right let's give us some characteristics here Okay, you got the knight here. So you could be dealing uh, with someone who may be with this knight. They could at times be blocking their emotions, okay? They um, could be shielding themselves from something, all right? Um, maybe they are not expressing themselves as well uh, with this mask over the knight's face. All right. Um, maybe this person still is a, a very uh, is a mystery here to you. Okay, could be very mysterious here. All right, and you're trying to maybe uncover some truth here. All right. Now let's see. How do your person view you? How they feel and what are their desires? Okay. So Aquarius, Pisces, Cusp, how's your love interest viewing you at this time? Okay, how is this Aquarius Pisces Coast love interest viewing them at this time? Okay. What are their feelings here towards the Aquarius Pisces Coast? And what um, is this person desiring when it comes to this connection? All right. Okay, now let's get to digging you all. Um, their views, how are they viewing you? You got the five of pentacles. This is Taurus energy here. Um, they're feeling abandoned. Now they could see you as someone who is feeling abandoned now at this time. Okay. With this being the five, there is some type of conflict, instability here. Okay, um, someone, uh, there could be some type of roadblocks here due to some financial uh, situations. Okay, this five of pentacles, again, is, uh, let's see, this is what they're considering um, as an exchanger. There's changes in the financial situation, could be wanting to receive a message in regards to the finances okay so maybe they are viewing you as someone when it comes to love you're feeling abandoned here um, but you could be um, working towards the increasing um, your financial stability or um, yeah all right we're going to clarify so now clarifying their no what are their feelings towards you Aquarius Pisces cups you got the fool here Aquarius energy here so new beginnings Okay, um, want to embark on new beginnings, going through a new journey here. This is adventure. Okay, there's the potential here for something to happen with the fool being in the feelings. Okay, so they feel like that you can bring forth some new vibrating changes here. Um, bring forth new beginnings, okay. Now, uh, with their desires here, Aquarius, Pisces, Cubs, you got the Seven of Swords, all right? This Aquarius energy again, okay? So there's some hidden dishonor, uh, deception here. With this being the number seven, okay, um, someone is needing to assess the situation, maybe uh, look into... The person a, a bit more maybe gain some more knowledge here 
you got the seven of swords energy um with that being in the desires here so seven of swords is someone that is pretty much an uh, eraser so this is the removal of people discovering the truth maybe um someone who can be argumentative okay all right so what they are desiring now i don't i think they we're going to clarify but right now um there is no truth here in the desires okay um and it's still desiring to this being an aquarius hold on y'all aquarius energy ruled by the moon here so the moon is all about the feelings and emotions okay and uh, yeah so let me read here the moon and in aquarius <clears throat> it's not such a bad thing to be a lunatic here so maybe they are desiring for for some of you all maybe to come more out of your shell for some of you all okay um what was that the five of pentacles which is towards root by mercury here let's see with the views don't overthink the situation, okay? So they could be viewing you as someone that actually overthinks, okay? All right. So let's clarify. Let's clarify the Five of Pentacles, please. For this, the love interest, Aquarius. Okay. All right. Now let's clarify uh, the feelings, the fool, please. And let's clarify the desires to Seven of Swords. All right. Okay, so clarifying their views. You got thoughts here. This is the number seven um, assessment. Gaining some more knowledge here. Okay. Um, to me here, this would be Cancer and Aries energy here. So they're waiting, doing some reflection, um, reevaluating. Okay. So they could see you as someone that actually just stays too much in your head. You uh, think a lot. Okay. You think a lot. All right. Now, clarifying their feelings with the fool, you got the great fortune, the number eight here. So they feel like you are. To me, this number eight, great fortune, would be like the strength card, Leo, or the star, which is Aquarius. So, someone who's high, has high level energy. Um, you have a can-do, will-do attitude. This is about free will here, associated with the power within, all right? So, their feelings towards you, I feel like that you would be um, a great great asset here to them okay uh with this being the number eight this is about action and accomplishment so um they could actually be feeling like they would accomplish something here you can you you two would be able to accomplish a lot of great things together okay now clarifying the desires all right you got the number three marriage here which is about growth and creativity all right, so they could be desiring here a relationship, okay? But then there is still some deceptive behavior going on behind the scenes, hidden dishonor, all right? With this being a number three, um, I get a Capricorn, Pisces, Taurus, Libra energy off of here. So um, inspiration, creativity, all right? There is more than one person involved. Okay, so um, maybe they are desiring to, if they are in a situation that they are tied to someone um, outside of you, it could be desiring here to, you know, kind of sneak away here from the connection. Okay, um, all right. 
different scenarios there okay so now let's look into obstacles here um your hopes and unhealthy focus point okay so what are the obstacles here between aquarius pisces cusp and your love interest what is an obstacle here all right okay what are the hopes coming right out gosh Ooh. sorry y'all all right All right, and I don't know what this go. Okay, let's put this back. Okay, what are the hopes here? Okay. All right, and uh, let's see um, the unhealthy focus point. Okay. All right. So the unhealthy focus point, you all, this would be something that you all are focused on that is not hindering you. Uh, I mean, it is not beneficial to you. It is not beneficial to the connection to your person. It is just an unhealthy focus point is what I call it. Okay. All right. So when it comes to the obstacles here, you have inside scoop, getting a closer look. Someone um, being nosy up in your business here. So obstacles. Maybe you all don't have the inside scoop. Okay. You're still trying to uncover some type of information here. Or someone is. Okay. So not having all the necessary um information that is needed is is an obstacle okay now when it comes to the hopes here you have uninterested all right so someone in the connection is hoping that this person is interested okay um all right you want your person to be interested here okay so you that's what you're hoping for all right for your person i guess to give you their full attention here all right now when it comes to the unhealthy focus point you all you got ignoring here all right so maybe you all are focusing on um this are you in this energy to where you feel like your person is ignoring you um maybe that's what you're thinking about a lot okay um all right or you could be ignoring a situation or ignoring something that you are needing to take heed to okay all right so um but if you're focusing on this because it's the unhealthy focus point okay so you're focusing on uh, the fact that your person is ignoring you okay and so this is what you are creating all right all right now let's get the confessions here let's get the confessions all right i let my temptations get the best of me i got sidetracked all right so your person wants you to know that they got sidetracked um, by the temptations um, or whatever is causing them to be here deceptive, okay? All right, and manifesting myself so I can be good enough to win you back, all right? So your person could be working on themselves um, um, or you could be, you know, manifesting yourself so you can win your person back, I don't know. All right. Now let's get the see what what is the silent conversations here between you two. Masculine energy wants to say, "I would love to see you again. Feel your arms around me again. Hold each other again. Can we reconcile here?" So the masculine energy in this connection is um, leaning towards a reconciliation. You have here masculine energy as well. I feel so happy when I'm with you. It's like nothing else. Time stands still. Nothing compares. All right. 
and the feminine energy here. I didn't fully realize what was right in front of me. I'm sorry. Sometimes I feel like I don't deserve such love. It's scary here. So the fem feminine energy in this connection could be uh, kind of be, you know, a bit overwhelmed by the love that you're feeling here for this person. And um, it can get a little scary here at times, okay? Now let's get some more messages here. Give us some messages. All right. You have you have overcome odds here. So you all are needing to work on overcoming the odds here between you two. Okay? Got heartbreak. So release pain, healing your heart. Someone is dealing with some type of heartbreak here at this time in this connection, okay? Alright, and take the leap here. So have faith and trust in yourself. Okay, that's that full energy there. Um, so we're going to take in the leap of faith, okay? Alright, <clears throat> the Aquarius in you, Aquarius Pisces, because, okay. Now let's see who or what is coming towards this connection. Who or what is coming towards this connection between Aquarius Pisces, because, and their love interest here. All right, you have deception and temptation. It's that Seven of Swords energy here. Okay, so someone is still not going to be honest here. Maybe um, are still allowing temptations, certain temptations to stand in the way. Okay, you have Ace here. So Earth, uh, maybe a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be starting something new here with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With that being the Ace of Pentacles, this is about new beginnings and prosperity. Uh, starting something new, which will be very positive for you, brings feeling of positivity, inspiration, and news and new exciting energy. Okay. All right, and let's see. Okay, you have disharmony here. There's some triggers. There's some conflict here. Okay. So, now, do we want one more here? Okay. You have attraction, Mars, hot here. So, I don't know if that could be the argument, the heated conversation here, um, or the passion, the love, maybe some sexual energy here that you all will be having, all right, within the next you know, few days or um, in this energy that you all are in now, okay? Uh, Mars here, we know that is Aries energy, so for some, could be dealing with the Aries or could have an Aries moving towards you all, okay? All right, now let's get some advice or messages of love here. Okay, you have addiction, so there's an addiction that is affecting this relationship, okay? Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life, alright? This could be for some your true love, but there's a... Things going, there's obstacles here. Unhealed wounds are blocking for movement, alright? So, okay, only messages of love. <laughs> And second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. So maybe uh, you're not finished here with this person. They are not done here with you. Um, okay, now what we need now. A healing message. Let's get a healing message for the viewer. Someone is needing to take this leap of, of faith here. The healing, um, someone is needed to heal heartbreak, release the pain, all right. Um, maybe watch your words here with this triggers and conflict number five that came up uh, several times throughout the messages, okay. <clears throat> all right, now let's get a healing message. 
fun and adventure joy here okay so it's time to play and get reacquainted with your childlike self open up your sense of adventure and fantasy you've been way too serious and moving through the motions snap out of it and have some fun allow this joy adventure to come in um be open to take the leap of faith here. Maybe you're going to have to come out of this energy of feeling sad and down. It could be, you know, coming off of that Mercury retrograde in the full moon energy here. So, um, you know, we'll take a look in a few more weeks to see the energy in a few more weeks. Okay. So, y'all, these are your messages. I hope that they will be helpful. If it resonated, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to receive your messages more frequently, please hit the subscribe button. Let's see if you would like to comment. Feel free to comment, y'all. I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all much love, much light, much positivity. Thank you all so much for joining me. And I will see y'all next time on my channel. Bye.